officially got Zuko's update or Zuko's lab results in from the blood draw the other day. They called me yesterday and said that they wanted me to come in to discuss the results. So ultimately I don't know what, you know, obviously it still could be nothing, but I think that them wanting us to come in for an appointment is not really a good sign. So we're on our way to the appointment now. I guess we'll see what the answers are. So normal is below five, he was at six. So with these, we'll be worried about like lead poisoning, lead toxicity. Yeah. So um, what I'm gonna do, so his, his blood counts were down just a little bit, but nothing too bad for his age. Okay. Um, if the lead goes higher, the blood counts do go down a little bit. Okay. Things we worry about with that is, is if they're not getting enough iron and that, his age is like, how much we can um, I don't think that's an issue. Um, but with lead, there can be a lead, and, and if the lead's going up, sometimes lead goes down. So when we check blood again in three months, I hate checking blood for little ones, um, but I think we gotta do it to make sure that lead's not going in the wrong direction. Right. Okay. Let's get this done again. Three months from now is gonna be November, so about the middle of November. Okay. So basically, he has lead poisoning. According to the test results, he has elevated lead levels, like more than five. He has what the original drawing was for the health department, which was 6.1. That's what it came back as for the doctor drawing. It came back as level six. And so by pretty much the standard, that's like, you know, above a five is where they get concerned. Above a five is, is lead poisoning. Basically, we have to just figure out what we're going to do now because Zuko has lead poisoning and is exposed obviously to it somewhere then that means that the rest of us and the rest of the kids are exposed to it. According to the doctor they're like well we really need you to get rid of all like the paint, lead paint and dust and paint chips and everything that could be the exposure and they want us to at least paint the walls but I'm thinking we, sh we just have to move all together. Yeah. I really don't know how they would test for that, but either way, even if we even if we just did like even if the only requirement was for us to paint the walls, we'd still have to move all of our stuff out and us out of that house while they repainted everything. Okay. So I would call the primary doctor if they have any problem with ordering that, um, let me know. And then I can call and talk to them, but I would just call the doctor and say the health department wants the other three children checked. Okay. Um and then I need to schedule a time that would be convenient for you guys for me to come out. It's probably going to be sometime next week. All right. <sighs> All right, guys. So basically where we're at, we have to have a home visit with um, someone from the Department of Health to come by. And I'm not sure what that, what's all involved with that, if they have to come by and like test the paint on the walls and um, it sounds like we have a lot of paperwork to fill out and um, basically we have a case open now with the Department of Health and so that's going to be this week. We also have to officially get all the other kids tested so yeah so that's where we're at right now. We just we have to it sounds like this is just going to be a process and I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog guys because you know there's just like a lot to process and Cody and I are feeling just a little bit overwhelmed right now so we just have you know like I said a lot to process. So I'm going to go ahead and end out this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Okay bye guys.